I better uh, pass this Jeep or hit the brakes. Oh, come on, don't fail me now. After all this, 45 miles, and you're gonna mess up now? Oh, it's hitting the, oh, what is it doing? No. I just, I can't believe that just happened. And nothing like that, I've never seen anything like that. I'm glad I was reporting. What is going on everybody? Welcome to the next episode of Tesla Challenge. This is episode four, I think, challenge number four. So we are doing another navigate an autopilot challenge. So here we go, merging onto the freeway. Um, we're going 45 miles here and we have several interchanges. So in some of the past videos, you guys were um, asking about uh, having some more difficulty in the challenge. So having uh, more for the car to deal with and specifically interchanges. You know, you said, okay, well, you're on the highway for whatever miles, who cares? Um, so last time we had one, we had to change one time. Okay, so we're gonna get over. Um, we had to change one time and uh, that wasn't enough. So here we have four interchanges. Um, I'll try to put up a map uh, if I can do that, but it's gonna be about 45 miles uh, and I think four interchanges. So I'm gonna let the car do everything the rules of the challenge are I cannot intervene at all. So I've set my speed to 78. I'm not gonna change that. Uh, my following distance is uh, two. I usually keep it on two, so let's keep it there. Um, I have a hand on the wheel at all times, but if I have to intervene at all, um, then the car loses and the challenge is over. That's the end of the video. Um, so let's see if autopilot is capable of taking us 45 miles with no interventions. All right, so you can see here, we're coming up to our first interchange. We have about a mile left. Um, the car is gonna have to move over. So you can see this line here, that means it, it wants to get into that lane. Um, and then it's gonna have to change lanes again quickly. So comment down below, uh, whatever other challenges you wanna see in the future. Uh, I've gotten a lot of comments so far about things you all wanna see. Um, so I, I'm open to that. Uh, I wanna kinda try all kinds of different things. Okay, so this looks like it's gonna be pretty good. All right, so the car's naturally slowing down on its own. It's changed the max speed to 60. Um, I don't think I would, now 55, I don't think I'd be going exactly this slow, uh, but I definitely would have slowed down. Um, I'm interested to see, okay, now 40, that is too slow. Um, really, I'd probably be going 50 or 60 right here. Um, I'm interested to see what it's gonna do for the speed. Okay, so it's increasing it again. Um, I hope it'll put it back to my preset of 78, but if not, then that's what I'm stuck with. So we have some cars on our left. It looks like we'll have plenty of room. So we have to get over a couple times here. All right, so all good. It put us back to 75. I don't know how it decided 75. Oh, 78. Very cool. So it remembered what I had. It slowed us down through that uh, curvy interchange and we're back up to our set speed. Give a like for that. That's awesome. Okay, so pretty slow. Um, I don't know why the car isn't getting over to pass um, everybody here. Um, I would I would like it to do that. If you look in the settings, um, autopilot, I do have um, lane changes enabled. Doesn't require confirmation and we're on average. I usually keep it on average. I find it works much better than Mad Max. Okay, so Navigate on Autopilot is turned off. It always does this for this bridge overpass thing. I have no idea why, um, but then it'll just turn itself back on, no big deal. So there it is, and it's okay under this bridge. It doesn't make much sense. Okay, now we're gonna change to a faster lane. All clear. This guy is like riding the line good. The car doesn't seem to care about him. So the car is changing lanes. It's said to faster lane. 
Um, that was a good move because there were some people on the side of the road there. Looks like they just had a little fender bender. So this is uh, software version 2019.20.4.4. So I just got this update yesterday actually. And this morning on my way to work, the lane changes, um, so they were the same. The amount of kind of aggressiveness and how fast the car got over and everything, that was the same. But the decision making seemed much faster. Um, it was really being kind of preemptive. It would see a slow car way up ahead and instantly be like, all right, we're changing, we're getting out of here. And then when we pass, you know, whoever we were passing, it would get out of the passing lane almost instantly. So I was pretty excited about that. I was like, wow, this is like kind of a huge improvement um, because it was doing everything so kind of, um, it, was, it was a lot more natural, it was a lot more human-like. Um, but I'm not seeing that as much here. So I don't know, I guess maybe it was just a fluke or something. So right now we're driving directly into the sun and this is a time where sometimes people will see issues. So the cameras are, you know, up here. Um, the front facing cameras are behind the rear view mirror and they're facing forward. And so if the sun is shining directly into them, uh, you know, they might have a little interference when, you know, you're coming up to something like a bridge um, or another car. But maybe the cameras are getting, are getting confused and relying on radar. Um, I don't normally see that issue, but, but I, I've, I've heard of it popping up. Um, and then that lane change was perfect. Okay, so a little bit of uh, braking there for uh, seemingly no reason. I don't know if it thought uh, the car to our right was going to come into our lane or not. They were really close to the line, but there was really no reason to slow. Not, not too big of a deal. We dropped maybe two miles an hour. So yeah, right there, I don't know if you can tell um, just from watching the speed, but I can feel the car is kind of just just barely touching the brakes just a little bit. Uh, I'm not exactly sure why if, again, like I was talking about earlier, if the sun is kind of messing with it uh, and then it sees that semi and it's just being careful or what. You know, we really should be getting out of the passing lane. We've been in it for a while. We were passing some people, but uh, we're not going really much faster than this focus up here. Now, part of the reason it may be staying here is if you look at the map, in 2.2 miles we're getting onto the next highway, so we're going from 696 to 96, and these are the two lanes you need to be in um, to kind of take that, the exits on the left. It really just splits. Um, so I don't know if the car kind of justifies staying here that way, but really I'd want to be in uh, behind this focus. But I guess we technically are going a bit faster than them. Okay, so we're finally getting out of the passing lane. I mean, it does make sense. We did pass all those people, and now this guy, you know, is not in our way. Um, so, not, not terrible. I, I can't say I would have sat there that whole time. So this is our next uh, interchange. Uh, not, not too difficult. The car's just got to go straight. Uh, and then it's on the next highway. getting in the faster lane okay see so that was really um, predicted pretty early so this guy is going much slower but we were way far back so that was good um, and this person let us in it looks like they're getting a little closer uh, maybe they don't appreciate me being here um, but they were going slower than me all right so he is passing us on the right but we are going faster than the middle lane. This is just one of those kind of tricky situations where I am using the passing lane, I am passing the people to my right, I am going over the speed limit, but the person behind me wants to go even more over the speed limit. So really, the car should get out of the way. I mean, it has a back camera, it should be able to see them, and then it can get back to this lane to keep going faster. Um, but I guess it's just not that sophisticated yet. Oh, 
okay, so we've passed everybody in that lane, and hopefully, very quickly, the car is going to move over. That's what I expect. Not yet. Okay, so a little delayed. Not not awful. Not great. Not good. Just mediocre. Okay, so you can see here the car is going to change lanes. It wants to get over here because our exit is coming up. We can see I'm not getting any nasty looks, so that's good. <laughs> um, this blue guy's kind of in, in my way. He's like my excuse to be hanging out here. So now we're going to switch lanes. And we need to do that so that we can exit the highway coming up. All right, so we're gonna get in the right lane to follow the route. That's good. Despite, you know, having to go a bit slower, uh, the car knows we need to exit soon, so it's not gonna put us in the left lane. All right, so here's the exit. Uh, really nice and smooth entry into the exit lane. This is another spot where the car is going to um, change the speed. It's gonna lower the speed. Um, I was wrong, it's three interchanges, not, not four. Um, but this is the third and final interchange, so it doesn't normally have a problem here. If we don't have any problems, um, it looks like it's going to go 45 miles with me doing nothing, which is pretty nice. Okay, so it almost missed that line there. And it did, it did okay, but I think that was because of the sun. I'm just, that's just my guess. I mean, I could barely see that line myself. The, the pavement was so kind of bright. Um, now, it sees the speed limit is, is 55. It, it saw the sign, or it's, it's in the map data, um, but it's still going 65 because, you know, I kind of have it set to go over. But I don't have it set as 10 over. I have it set as 8 over, so I don't know how it makes those decisions. Okay, increasing. We're at 75, we're all clear here. And it put it back up to 78, that is awesome. So three interchanges, no interventions, I didn't have to do anything. And now we're getting into the faster lane because this guy's going a little slow. If you're enjoying this so far, hit like for me. Uh, this is pretty good, pretty good. Uh, besides kind of sticking in the passing lane a little too long, the car's doing really well. Okay, and right away, we pass this person, and we're getting out of the passing lane. That's really good. It just needs to do that every time. Wow, look how early it saw that slow car. We're really far away. And it picked it out, like, way back there. So I was seeing that earlier today. Um, so before when we were just driving, I wasn't noticing it as much. Um, but I just got the update yesterday for 20.4.4. And this morning on my way to work, every lane change was like that. Way far ahead, really kind of preemptively making these changes to either get out of the passing lane or uh, to pass cars. Um, so I was a little disappointed back there when we were sitting in the passing lane so long. Um, it's not what I saw this morning. So maybe it was just a fluke, I'm not sure. Okay, again, you can see here the car is going to want to switch to that lane to follow the route. And you can see up here it tells you that also. So I better uh, pass this Jeep or hit the brakes. Oh, come on, don't fail me now. After all this, 45 miles and you're going to mess up now? Okay, so now it puts turn signal on. And what is it doing? Okay, it's slowing. That person doesn't even know, oh, it's hitting the, oh, what is it doing? No, we're going to miss. We're going to miss. What did you do? 
we're gonna miss the exit. It's gonna fail. Now it's hitting the brake. Oh my gosh, I gotta intervene. I can't believe that. 45 miles. We <laughs> 45 miles and it fails. I was like all ready to be like, all right, we're done, blah, blah, blah. But um, that is ridiculous. Okay, well, let me get out of everybody's way here. Um, ah, fail. Number four. That's two failures in a row. I can't believe it did that. Well, I'll get off the next exit and go home, but oh my gosh. So, <laughs> so um, yeah, the exit was coming up and it should have just slowed down to get behind, you know, the Jeep, um, but it didn't. You know, it, it decided, well, I'm just going to uh, sit here. I don't know. That was ridiculous. Oh, that's so disappointing. Three interchanges, and all it had to do was make one final lane change. Uh, oh, well. Well, thanks for watching. <laughs> I just, I can't believe that just happened. And nothing like that. I've never seen anything like that. I'm glad I was reporting. Um, comment below what you think about that. Um, I think I'm going to be done for a little bit for the autopilot kind of distance challenges. So that's three in a row, and I was going to be like, oh, it did all three, no problem. Um, but now it's screwed up. Um, so let me know what else you want to see. Um, I got some other stuff planned, but I want to do, you know, what you're interested in. Um, <laughs> I just still can't believe it failed. All right, well, uh, hit like, get subscribed, and I'll uh, see you next time.